Well, hi, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to Catalyst Church on social media so you can see more videos like this. And if you have questions or comments, please leave us a comment or send us a message. We'd love to hear from you. Well, today I wanna to talk to you about silence and solitude. Now you might be thinking, Zach, uh, we're already in solitude, uh, social distancing, uh, we're kinda already there. Uh, well, today I wanna to talk to you about it a little differently. Have you ever noticed how loud our lives are? Even in social distancing, uh, we kind of surround ourselves with noise. Uh, from the moment we get up, we're, we're having conversations, we're listening to podcasts, we're watching television, uh, we've got the radio on, we're listening to music, we're hearing the music from the car next to us because it's so loud. Uh, some of us even have Netflix on in the background while we're working or doing school, I, however that works, right? But have you ever noticed how strange it is when life is silent? See, that's weird, right? The music stopped, I stopped talking. You might've even thought, is the video frozen? What's going on, right? We like to be entertained, I get it, right? I'm one of those people that, that likes to listen to uh, really loud music while I'm studying or while I'm reading and somehow I'm able to focus on both things, I get it. But the problem is, we tend to have a problem with focus. And those problems with focus follow us into our spiritual lives. And so when we sit down and decide, I'm gonna focus on God's word this morning, we're so used to being distracted that it can be really difficult to focus, even when there's nothing there to distract us. And so that's why this, this discipline of, of solitude and silence is so important. And here's what we're gonna see. We're gonna see that Jesus practiced this discipline. Here's what we see in Mark chapter one, verse 35. And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place and there he prayed. So at the height of Jesus' ministry, there's so many important things to do. Uh, his disciples are ready, they're ready to learn from him. Even later in this chapter, they, they come to find him, uh, kind of interrupt his time with the Lord and say, we've been looking for you, right? And yet we see that Jesus took time to get away from distractions and to spend time with the Lord. So when we think about solitude and silence for a spiritual reason, we're not just getting by ourselves, we're, we're drawing closer to God. Right, Psalm 46 describes this apocalyptic scene where the earth is crumbling and the mountains are being thrown into the heart of the sea. And we think, what in, what in the world would God have to say to his people in the middle of chaos like that? And here's what we see in verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. And we think, really? Right, I'm not gonna lie, this season of social distancing is getting older by the minute. And especially right now, my first reaction when life is chaotic is not to be still. It's to get loud, it's to, to seek an answer, it's to, to kind of become frantic. And yet God says to us, be still and know that I am God. And so that's why this discipline of silence and solitude is so important. Right? If we can't sit down and spend time with, uh, with God in his word and in prayer without being distracted, then something's wrong. Right? And so this, this discipline of getting by ourselves and kind of separating ourselves from distractions, maybe not taking our phone with us when we spend time with the Lord or, or turning off the music for once or finding a quiet place, uh, whether it's in our neighborhood or, or in our home or maybe even in the office where we can spend time with the Lord that's quiet. Right? It's important to separate ourselves from distractions because one of the biggest reasons we have a hard time uh, focusing on God's word is because we're so used to being distracted that when there's nothing around, it's kind of weird, right? So try it. Next time you spend time with the Lord, uh, find a quiet place to be alone. Um, don't look at your phone. Uh, don't check your watch every five seconds and say, how long has it been? How long has it been? All right, maybe you set an alarm so you know you're not late to whatever you have going on, but, but take some time to disconnect from distractions and technology, right? Maybe you're, you're feeling distracted. Take some time to, to meditate on scripture. For me, I go to Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God, right? And maybe we just simply meditate on that verse. God, help me to be still. Help me to focus on you right now. Right? And slowly what we'll see is that by disconnecting from distractions and technology and things that pull for our attention, we start to crave our time with the Lord. We start to enjoy our time with the Lord. It starts to become more meaningful. And so by practicing silence and solitude, things like prayer and Bible reading get easier and more enjoyable. So friends, I encourage you to try this uh, and I hope this video has been helpful to you. Be sure to like it and subscribe to Catalyst Church on social media so you can see more videos like this. I'll see you next time.